Hi friends, my name is Ankur Jain and welcome back to Tax Upper channel. So in this video, we are going to create two select one choice or drop down which will be a dependent drop down. So this is a very common requirement in each and every web application where we require to create a dependent list of choice. So let's see how we can achieve this in Visual Builder. So in this in this use case, what we are going to do, we are just going to create a web application first, and then we are going to create two business objects. One is category and second is food. The category will have food category like foods, nuts, and vegetables, and food will have associated uh, fruits name, vegetable names, and nut name. Then we are going to drop select one component on a web page and associate with the category view first then we will pop another select one component on web page and will associate with food view then we are going to add an event on the first select one choice and will add and will filter only the food which belongs to a selected category for example in the first drop down we will have all the categories like fruits vegetables and nut and in the second drop down we will filter out all the fruits if we selected fruits if we select nuts then we will show all the nuts name into the second drop down if we select vegetable then we will select all the vegetable name into the second drop down so let's see how we can achieve this in vbcs so here what I have done is I have already created a dependent list application and here I have created two business object one is category and second is food category is having single field which is called a category and here I have populated data like fruits vegetables and nut in the second business object which is kind of food I have two columns one is food name and the second is category type and the category type is the foreign key and associated with the category table and have the id as a foreign key of this particular table so in this i have also populated data like apple orange guava kiwi plum and these are the related with the fruits category same way the vegetable category same way is the net categories so let's see how we can create dependent list so let's just go to the web application and create a web application and here i will say dependent list web app and click on a create button here first i will drop a heading component here heading and here I will change the text food category and I can change the heading level now I will select search the select one choice and just drop here and here I will change the text as food category and then we'll select this single select and we'll go to the quick start and we'll click on the add option here i have to select the business object so this is a category and just click on the next button here i have to give two fields one is label and second is value the label will be shown on the on the drop down and the id will be value so i'll say category will be label and id will be value click the next button and we'll leave as it is just click on a finish now again i will drop select one choice one more time and we'll say food name and again we'll select this drop down and we'll go to the quick start and click on add options here i will select food and click on the next same way i will select food name as a label and id as a value and click on the next button here i will add a filter criteria as a fake criteria so that 
upon loading the page first time it will not show anything into the full name drop down i'll say if uh i'll say this category type equals to minus one and now simply click on the finish button here just try to switch into the live mode and here you will see the food category has been populated and there is no phone name as such if you will select fruits there is no phone name right now just go back to the designer mode and again i will add filter criteria on this particular food category drop down just select this and here go to the events and select new event and click on quick start value now here i will add this assign variable and then click on this assign now here you need to select this food list sdp and click on the filter criteria and here just add click to add condition and here i will see if category type equals to chain dot variables dot value just save so this is the filter condition which i need to add category type is the column which is in my uh, food uh, food object just save that's it now just go back to your web application and here just run your application so you see initially the food no food name is not there it is because we added the fake condition into the food name filter criteria now select any one of the food category like fruits and you here you will see the related food name will be populated like apple orange guava kiwi plum and banana and again if you select vegetables you will say carrot cauliflower potato tomato now select nut and you will be able to see all the nut name cashew almond peanut so guys this is how you can create dependent list in vbcs i hope you like the video if you like the video please like comment share and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet you can see me over linkedin twitter facebook and pinterest you can see my blogs https colon slash slash www.taxsupper.com thank you for watching the video have a good day bye bye